Hey Bob, it's another exciting day in paradise, and boy oh boy is it a great day to be alive, especially when you consider the alternative. Uh, I just wanted to create this video because uh, uh, it's been a little bit since I created my last video, um, and I just wanted to uh, talk, you know, like, like all of these talks, they're just the top of my head, none of this scripted or anything like that, just things, something I was thinking about. A buddy of mine just posted a video, and he uh, admitted that he made a mistake and he was asking for forgiveness. Um, we're all human beings, and that's understandable. Um, so with that, we're gonna make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And that's basically what I wanted to uh, talk about in this video, is that mistakes happen. What you do after those mistakes is what really matters. Somebody who constantly makes the same mistake over and over and over again and continues to make it and then says, I'm sorry, and asks for forgiveness. And this is, again, I'm not relating to, uh, to, to you, buddy. You know who you are. Uh, I'm making it and I'm talking, I'm saying an example. This is an example, okay? Um, it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf, okay? When you, you have somebody who constantly makes this, uh, make, if you keep making a mistake, and then you ask people for, forgive, for forgiveness and you say, I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Actions speak louder than words. Don't ask for forgiveness from me. Don't say I'm sorry for the mistake that you know you clearly did. Fix it. Do better. Because you, you should be holding yourself to a standard that nobody else holds you to. Because you know yourself better than anybody else you know your limitations, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses. So that's it's kind of like when you when you look in the mirror, when you ask somebody, hey, how do I look? And they're like, man, you look real good. And you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't know, something's wrong with my hair. You judge yourself more than other people judge you. You critique yourself more than other people critique you because you hold yourself to a higher standard. So by holding yourself to a higher standard, you know what you need to do Stop making excuses. Stop, uh, stop apologizing. Because again, actions speak louder than words. Do something about it. Track yourself better. Hold yourself accountable more. I, myself, am not going to apologize for the fact that I've slipped up a couple times now on, on my dieting plan. I'm not going to apologize for that because I know I've been screwing up on that. I know I haven't been committing to going to the gym as much as I, I should. I'm not going to tell somebody, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, guys, I'm sorry I gained a couple pounds, I'm, I'm sorry. Because the only person I'm hurting is myself. And the only person who can fix it is myself. So I'm going to fix it, I'm going to double down and, and, and push 120%. I'm going to go harder than I did before. Mistakes will happen along the way. Obstacles, you'll run into obstacles along the way, but obstacles can always be overcome. You can always overcome obstacles. Now, how fast you overcome those obstacles and how, how much you improve based off those mistakes and, and those obstacles is up to you. That's the only person it's up to. Nobody else. Now, I'm not saying you can't get advice, you can't get help from people. Of course you can. But ultimately, it all boils down to you. What are you going to do about it? So, I want to leave you with those thoughts. Everybody who's making mistakes right now, no matter who you are, if you're making a mistake and you know what the mistake is, don't ask other people for, for forgiveness. Don't ask other people to, to accept your, 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 that you made a mistake. Because the only person you're hurting is yourself. So the only person who can fix it ultimately is yourself. Understand and accept what you did was wrong or your mistake or whatever it was. And fix it. And then afterwards, it's going to feel so much better. Find alternative routes. If one path, if one path isn't working for you, look at an alternate path. If you need to substitute one thing in order to fix another, do it. You know, if one path is too hard, currently, if you're on the wrong 
mode of transportation to get over one path. Find a path that's passable. Find an alternate means of getting to your goal. As long as you ultimately get to your goal, who cares? And what do I mean by that? I'll give an example like with quitting smoking or something like that. The main reason smoking and stuff like that is so addictive, drinking and so forth, is because, yes, it has nicotine and they have addictive chemicals to it, but it's a lot of it has to do with stress relief. So you can make excuses all day long about how, oh, you know, uh, I, I do it because it, it because I, I just like it. I like the feeling of it. You know, ultimately it all boils down to it's a form of stress relief. You're doing it because it makes you feel good. Because in some way, shape, or form, it's it's it it's relieving something from you. It's making you feel a little bit better. So find an alternate means of stress relief. There's a lot of out, uh, options out there. So that's that's basically what I mean by finding an alternate path when you're on a bike trail and then suddenly you hit a rough a bunch of bumps and and, and your bike can't get over this path anymore but you see a walking trail a trail that you might be able to pass on foot get off the bike and take the path on foot as long as it gets to the end goal of what you're trying to get to do it because the only person that's holding yourself back is you. You're unstoppable. Nobody can stop you but yourself. And remember that. Y'all have a fantastic day. Back to you in the studio room.